All right, so Lego. We all love it. You could build a cat. You could even build a waffle. You could build really anything you want besides everything you build connects because they're way better in every way. It didn't start out this way though. Um, it all began in Denmark with Ole Kirk Christensen peddling his 10 piece mixtapes all through the streets. Uh, but today it's gotten a lot bigger. Um, the average set reaching up to 160 pieces. Uh, but more than that, it's not just the size of the kits, but their complexity and their variety that's changed over time. Even before we look at how LEGO kits have evolved over time, maybe we just want to see what they look like at one time point. Now, in 2016, we see a surprising degree of diversity, from one-piece LEGO keychains to a 6,000-piece Taj Mahal. Kits of basically every size, with the majority having around 100 pieces. All right, so that's diversity at one time point, but the question is, how did this change over time? Now, we can look back through time and plot all of these histograms over each other, but it's a total mess. You can't tell one thing from the next, and you have no idea really how these distributions have changed. One option we have, though, is to plot the cumulative distributions instead. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what a cumulative distribution is, just take a look at this bell curve. If we want to visualize this containing all the same information but a slightly different shape, you can just sum along the x-axis and it gives you this curve like this. This is the cumulative distribution function and it's very useful for visualizing multiple overlapping populations. Applying this new tool to the time series data shows that LEGO has indeed changed over time. More variety of kits, larger kit sizes, and generally all progressing in the same direction, more, 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 year after year. So yeah, um, from this analysis I've left off themes. Now we're all familiar with LEGO Star Wars and Bionicle and Technic, uh, but you'd be surprised to know that the majority of LEGO themes have less than 10 kits in each of them. These included uh, Monster Fighters in 2012, Power Miners in 2009, and the gentleman Galador. Galador the LEGO Man? Uh, I'm actually not familiar with this kit, I don't know, it sounds vaguely Eastern European, maybe it's the name Galador or the missing arm. I really don't know, but I regret that it never took off. Um, but yeah, please don't even call yourself a LEGO fan unless you own every single Galador man and every one of his Galador arms. So following the trend of the number of kits increasing over time, the number of themes has increased over time as well, with a major uptick happening in the early 2000s. Alright, so that just about does it. The big takeaways are LEGO is getting bigger over time, and the number and variety of kits is increasing as well. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, follow the links below for an interactive version of this presentation, and the data and code used to make everything you saw here. Till next time.